Hello, uh, Simon, Amanda, Alicia. Thank you. It's, um, it's, I have to say, I'm slightly nervous today because um, as I was setting up the keyboard, I noticed that David's got the same tie as my ex-boyfriend, and <laughs> D D David was, was actually the name of my, my ex-boyfriend. So, uh, <laughs> no, not, not, no, not my ex-boyfriend, my, my next. Um, so, <laughs> so, thank you. Just, just trying to connect, you know. Um, thank you. Gay, gay, gay dating is very tricky, you, you will find out later. Um, <laughs> particularly for me, because as I said last time, I've got something called Asperger's Syndrome, although I am aware that if you mention autism on stage, sometimes audiences can sort of like go awkward and silent. <laughs> like that. Um, uh, I, uh, no, I, I remember I was bullied at school, I remember I went on a farm trip and this kid actually got me to kiss a sheep. Yes, <laughs> how did they pull the wool over my eyes? Um, <laughs> Anyway, um, I had to leave that uh, school and take up a different teaching position. So, um, <laughs> or, um, or, thank you, or, thank you. Coming out was, um, thank you. Coming, uh, coming out was tricky. I, I told my granddad I was gay and he went, oh, where in nature do two men fall in love? I, I, I said, clap and comment. And, <laughs> and uh, although my, my nan was nice, uh, I, I told her and she said, whatever I do in my own bed is my own business, which was lovely, and, until I told her I'd done it in her bed. Um, <laughs> no, it's OK, because she was asleep. Um, I'm j joking, she was awake. And then... <laughs> and last time I basically did a song about nothing. Now I've got a song about something that's about sort of fitting in and being different and stuff, and it's a song about the panel, so ooh -ah. um, And also, um, they made me change it three days ago, so it's confused me, but I understand why. But I am up to challenges. When I was 16, I was 16 stone, so as I said then, you know, life's l like a box of chocolates. <laughs> yes, uh, empty. So, um... <laughs> Take me to the lose. Although if you try to wipe my bottom, I'll never refuse. <laughs> I'm only socially awkward and slightly obsessed. So if you say bad things, I'm not impressed. There's lots of people in the world who are one way obsessed. Elton John is obsessed with his homosexual spending. David Wallums is obsessed with his heterosexual pretending. <laughs> I'm not sure how you behave. Go on, David, give me a wave. Before you waved, it was a maybe. But with that hand action, you actually outgave me. Um, uh, Donald Trump is obsessed with his ridiculous hairdo. Amanda Holden is obsessed at trying to look young. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, 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 like she used to. Anyway, um, it's not the truth, it's just in that chair as I find you. That chair is sort of reflecting your younger years. It, it, it's behind you. Um, <laughs> Gordon Ramsay is obsessed with swearing at his cocker. Alicia Dixon is obsessed by dressing like cocker. No. <laughs> Simon, Simon Cowell's judging is so obsessive because out of all of the lovely Britain's got talent choice. The one thing he likes the most is the sound of his own voice. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Although I think your voice is lovely, so it's a shame we won't form a romantic hook. Instead, I'm going to have to remember your face for later <laughs> with this look.
saying to people, don't waste this opportunity and take your moment. And boy, did you just take your moment. That was so much better than the auditions. You're so interesting, different and unique. That was so funny. You're my favorite act tonight. Yes. Loved it. Very funny, very witty, very intelligent, um, and you were spot on with all of us. Well done, darling. No, I, you know what I said to Amanda as you came on. You know, I don't love musical comedy. I have to tell you, you were bloody hilarious. <laughs> because with you, what I love, there's always this element where you think. You are going to go too far, which reminds me of someone. But I have to ask you a question, David, because I talk about singers. Where should this guy go next? Because I feel like he should have his own sitcom or like you guys oh, did with yes. Little Britain or something. He's just one of, he just one of the funniest performers I've ever seen. I've never laughed like that yeah, in me. three or four minutes. Uh, I, I can't remember laughing like that. I don't know. I think he could go all the way. I just think, also, you've got this quality. You're completely lovable as well. Yeah. So, you know, you're halfway there with that. I mean, if you're not in the final on Sunday, there is no justice in this one. And those jumpers for merchandise, come on. No, you are brilliant. You're so funny. Thank you, Always judges, speak. to see Robert in Sunday's final. All the details are on screen now. Remember, Robert does it open for the last half. Has performed one more time. Robert White, everybody.